Okay, we are recording and I really need to spray tan. So as you guys can tell from the title, the Sephora sale is here, baby. And I'm so excited because I wait year round for the two sales. Well, I guess not really year round, half the year because it comes twice a year. Anyways, when the sale comes around, I really splurge. I mainly splurge on skincare products. So I only shop at Sephora twice a year because that is when the sales are. And I just love a good sale. I love a good coupon, bang for my buck. I just don't wanna spend more money if I don't have to. So when I have a sale come around, it's like a little national holiday for me. I love to get my comfy clothes, start making a list, scroll through the website. I feel like a lot of the products though were already sold out this year because I think TikTok, right? Like that has to be the reason because all my tried and true products were just wiped clean for weeks. So enough chit chatting. Let me just grab and go and show you what I got. The first thing I have here is the day shampoo. Let me pull it out of the gorgeous packaging. Her packaging is absolutely amazing. If you don't know who created this product, Amber Fillerup did, and I have been following her since her blogging days. This shampoo, you guys, smells like a straight up dream sickle. It just has a beautiful texture to it. It suds really nicely in my hair. I used to be bleach blonde if you haven't followed my channel before this video, but I love this shampoo. I loved it so much that I had to buy it again. I have the conditioner, I have the deep conditioner. I also have the prickly pear oil, which is so, so good. I put it in my hair right after I shower. It smells amazing. And I also wanted to pick up her new leave-in conditioner. I just love the packaging that she went with. It's very aesthetic. It looks beautiful in your shower. And it, again, smells so good. Let's see what this one smells like. Oh yeah, just like the shampoo and conditioner. The prickly pear obviously smells a little bit different because it has pear in it. And this smells more of like orangey. This says that it calms frizz softens and hydrates and protects your hair from breakage. Oh, it actually has heat protected in it. I've never used a leave-in conditioner. Why don't we just try it and find out? What does it say? Oh, you're not supposed to do it unless it's on damp hair, but you know what? It's my life. I'm gonna live it right now. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Truly, people are gonna compliment you if they're near your head because this, how could you not? It's like a hair perfume in one. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. In fact, I'm just gonna wash my hair tonight so that I can use it on damp hair. But look, it's working on the dry hair, I think. It's tamed down the frizz a smidge. They also have jumbo bottles in the shampoo, deep conditioner, and conditioner. I personally feel like I don't need the conditioner the next time around because I only wash my hair once or twice a week. Um, just that's how my hair works. So next time, I think I'm gonna get the jumbo and the shampoo and the deep conditioner. I feel like the deep conditioner really does a nice job. And then if I have this leave-in conditioner, I feel like I'll be pretty conditioned. Next up, we, whoop. Oh. Next up, we have the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. I am so obsessed with this toner. It smells phenomenal and it just leaves your skin so even and just like refreshed. I love the way it looks. Let's just, you know, I barely wore makeup today just so we could try out some products that I picked up. You can honestly use it as a setting spray if you want or just if you feel like you just need a little refresher or if you just wanna use it as another step in your skincare routine. I just love it and it smells heavenly, heavenly, you guys. I really wanted to get the coconut scrub from Kapari, but it was sold out. Like there are so many things, you guys, that were sold out already. And so funny to me, because a lot of these products are all the same color. They're like pink and gold tones. I didn't mean to do that. I guess I'm just drawn to companies that have that packaging. The next Kapari product I have here is the shower gel. Excuse me, the Sudsy shower oil. And I don't know, I just felt like this would be fun and different than a body wash, because my, my skin works really well with oil since I have drier skin. Wow, this smells different than their other products. Definitely more coconutty. So I'm excited to see how this lathers in the shower. I usually go with the Lush Rose Jam Shower Gel. It's one of my favorites, like my all-time favorites. You can also, I just learned, use it as a bubble bath if you're feeling a bubble bath that day. That is it from Kapari. The next item I have here is my go-to foundation, the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the Illuminating version. My nails look wild up against that camera. I love the Illuminating. I used to go with this, the 
blue packaging. I think it's just the standard CC cream, but this illumination is so beautiful on your skin. I don't have it on now. I just have a little concealer on right now, but I get so many compliments on my foundation and I'm always linking this product to people because they love how glowy it shows up on my skin. Again, every skin is different, so maybe you'll try it and it just doesn't work for your skin type and that's fine. But for me, this just gives the perfect medium to light coverage. No, I see medium, no, medium light. I feel like it's the perfect day-to-day -day foundation. If you wanna go like a little bit more dramatic for evening or an event, I probably go with the Too Faced, I don't remember what it's called. What I also absolutely love about this foundation, and I have talked about this in multiple haul videos already, I know, so if you aren't new here, you know the drill, but I love that this has SPF in it because I don't wanna have to add another extra step in my morning routine. Not like it takes that much time, but but I don't want to forget my sunscreen and I feel like for me that would be the one step I would forget every time so to have it all in one is just great for me so this I had to pick up because I was completely out of it I did try a different shade this time it's in the shade light medium and honestly I think it's too dark hello I just said I need a spray tan so maybe this will motivate me to get a spray tan let's see what this looks like because I usually just go with fair light and this is light medium in hopes that I would be tanner. This is really not wanting to come out. You can tell it's a brand new product. Okay, here it is. You see that scab right there? That's from my new puppy being crazy. Okay, we're gonna just put it on because why the heck not? It's my channel, I can do what I want. And if I look crazy because I haven't blended it in properly, it is what it is. I don't know. Is this a bad color? I feel like it's fine. Like I could definitely blend it out and it would work nicely and I could mix it with maybe another lighter foundation. I love the way it feels on my skin. It's so creamy. They also have really great concealer as well. You know, I should invest in more of their products because every time I use them, I'm just wowed by them. Now for the Charlotte Tilbury products. I love the Charlotte Tilbury line. I feel like obviously now it's way more popular because TikTok has just blew it up. But I was a true fan from the very get-go. I know that if you looked at the price of a Charlotte Tilbury product, you're probably like, whoa, baby, that is expensive. But like my grandpa always told me, quality things may cost a little bit more, but it's worth it. And let me tell you, her products are so worth it. What I really love about Charlotte Tilbury is that she also knows the importance of skincare and makeup together. So she's created products that really honor that message and I'm obsessed but they are expensive. So I have to take my sweet time in creating a Charlotte Tilbury collection. So what I love to do, and this is like a little tip for me to you when it comes to shopping at Sephora, and just as if you're someone who just doesn't go through full products very quickly, I'm a sucker for just shopping in the mini section because it does take me so long to go through a bigger bronzer or a bigger eyeshadow palette. And sometimes you just need something really mini. And mini things are so cute, right? This is one of my absolute favorite face masks and it's the Goddess Clay Mask. This stuff is good. I was pretty shocked though at how many this was for the price. But like I said, they are pricier. I think this was $20 for this little guy. Look at this little guy. Look, that's pretty small. But I'm telling you, this is so, so worth it. And I would have got the bigger one, but it was sold out. So, and I shopped early. I don't understand it. Another one that I was very shocked about this size is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now, you can use this as a primer, you can use this as a foundation, and some people even use this as a highlighter. Let me open it up. Also, her packaging is just simply stunning. I'm obsessed with all the rose gold details. Let me show you what this looks like on the skin. This is what it looks like on the skin. You can tell how it could definitely be a highlighter, but also if you blend it out, a beautiful glistening primer. Whoa, it's like golden hour on my hand. I'm so excited to use this. All right, now the last product I got from her is an eyeliner, which was a last minute add to my cart, but my friend and I were discussing our list and she was like, I really need a good eyeliner. And I'm like, you know what? Charlotte Tilbury has fantastic eyeliners. I usually do a liquid lighter if anything, 
But this coal brown eyeliner was just calling my name and I felt like why not invest in this and see if I love it. I'm gonna put some on actually for you. Let me use one of the products that I will share with you, but I know this has a mirror in it. Let's do my eyeliner and uh, see if I like it. And I'll tell you about the product that's in my hand. Oh yeah, it glides on so easily. Oh, there's nothing I love more than a smooth, creamy eyeliner. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about when that eyeliner is so dry that you could just feel the premature wrinkles. Also, I usually would go with black eyeliner, but I just felt like brown might be really nice for my red hair. This is not gonna match. The struggles with eyeliner is to get the wings to look identical and it just never happens. I don't know how makeup artists do it. How do they get identical wings? Is that even possible? You know what, that's the best I'm gonna do for now because I could take all day doing this. The next product that I wanna share with you is the Patrick Ta Blushes. I, I mean, Look how pretty this packaging is, and it's in the color. Do we know her? This is the cream, this is the powder. I love that there are two options, because some days I'm feeling powder, and other days I'm feeling more of a creamy blush. And since I couldn't get my tried and true blush from Charlotte Tilbury, I was really excited to try his blushes. I've heard really great things about his line. So finally, I just like, you know what? Let's try out his stuff, and we are going to do it together. Let's put on some creamy blush. These these are like peachy tones. And for a little bit, I was kind of shying away from more of the peachy tones with my red hair, but I'm back to it. I love it. Let me pull you guys in really quickly so you can see me apply the creamy blush. I was between this one and the Rare Beauty. Ooh, this glides on really nice. Feels almost like a, like a, I don't know, like a lotion in a sense. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm telling you, the camera's not even reflecting how freaking beautiful this is. I, I love this. Oh, great purchase, Kales, great purchase. And I love that you can just apply it with your fingers and it's so blendable. Okay, I love when I find a new product that I love. You know what? Sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes when your tried and true is gone, that's a sign from God that you need to try something different. And now I think I might've found a new tried and true. So, Pretty. All right, I only have one more product and then two samples. I'm gonna just keep you guys up close here. Hope you don't mind getting real up close and personal. This product is the Cora Organics Body Oil. I have the vitamin C serum. I have the retinol, like the nighttime serum. I have the, the gel stick that, oh, I love that gel stick. I have the Noni Eye Oil. What else do I have from her? Oh, the turmeric mask, the exfoliating mask is phenomenal. And so I really love the eye oil and I wanted to try her body oil because my legs are just so dry. I really need something that's going to hydrate them and the lotion is just not cutting it for me, you guys. I've tried so many different lotions and nothing just like seeps into my skin. I feel like it just sits on the top, kind of glides and slides and it's there and then my skin is still left kind of feeling unmoisturized. So I thought I would try out her body oil. I follow her Instagram religiously. Anytime she does an IGTV, I'm on it. I get like a fun little drink, I sit down, I watch it like a TV show. Her Core Organics Instagram and then her own personal Instagram. She does so many like fun IGTVs. I'm really excited. Let's put a little on my skin right now. One pump. Ooh, whoa, that really came out. Ooh, and it smells so, so good. And what I love about her brand is that she's certified organic and the certified part is very important because that means everything when it comes to packaging, literally all the details are organic and that's the difference between more of these clean beauty lines that are in Sephora. If they're not this certified part, um, not all of it is organic. Wow, I'm already loving this. Oh, and it gets like a nice little glisten to my arm. It has this really unique like aromatherapy smell and another cool thing about her line, let me bring you out as I keep talking, is that she processes all of her products with crystals. And for some of you, you may be like, well, that's a little too woohoo for me. I love crystals. I love the benefits of crystals. I really b believe in the energy properties of them. And I think it's cool how she's incorporated that into her beauty line. And I have nothing but wonderful things to say about her line. I will be investing my money for a very long time in those products as long as they work for me because they're good. Quality is important when it comes to skincare. I cannot preach that enough. 
off. Then you can add two little samples at the end of your order, and I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Water Drench Glow Serum. Never tried this one before, and then I also haven't tried the Lancome Concentrate. I don't think I picked this one, but that's okay. I will try it out because I love my samples. So that is it for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the products that I picked up. We're inspired to maybe add some new things to your cart. Um, we have plenty of time left for you to get in there and shop and share with us the things that you've picked up. Let me know down below in the comments what are some of your tried and true favorite products when it comes to skincare, beauty, hair. I love talking about all of those three. So please, please, please don't be shy. Write a comment and if you have a video, if you shared a haul on YouTube, like I am more than happy to go over there and watch your video and comment. This is a fun community and we should all be able to support each other. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, it really would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, it helps push my video out into the algorithm world, whatever that means, because I don't think anyone really knows what that means. But yeah, all right, love you guys, bye.